Hello and welcome to this training. I'm Christophe Dujaric and I'm the Chief Product Officer at Blackfire IO. Today I will show you how to fire up your Magento Store performance with Blackfire. Okay, so here I have a Luma website uh, which is deployed on Magento Cloud and which I will use uh, for the full uh, integration demo. Um, here is the Magento Cloud uh, user interface where I can see my master production branch and then all the staging branches that have been deployed. This is my GitHub repository where I have my code, I have my pull requests, I have all of the changes that uh, I will submit um, on my uh, application. Here, um, I'm actually gonna make a very simple code change. I'm just gonna add this file here uh, and commit it uh, to my pull request in order to uh, trigger uh, Magento Cloud for a redeploy of that environment. And here it goes. Um, now I can see right here on my pull request that the commit status has changed and that Magento Cloud is currently deploying here on the Magento Cloud uh, user interface, I see that uh, the status of the deployment is in progress. It usually takes a few minutes, so I'm gonna accelerate this video until it's completed. Okay, now I see that uh, the deployment is a success, so I can go check on GitHub and see that the commit status is updated uh, with Blackfire that's now started uh, to execute all of my test scenarios on all of the pages that I configured previously and uh, I will get a build report shortly. And here it goes, the build report is complete, the commit status is updated. I'm gonna go check the build report and see that most likely an error occurred, that something went wrong with my checkout page. Uh, I can see all of the recommendations and the sessions uh, that pop up in the build report. Most likely I'm too slow. And here is the error, and the payment and product list pages are okay. The easiest way for me to figure out what went wrong with the performance of my application is going to be through the performance recommendations that you can see here. Um, those are uh, best practices that we define together with um, our uh, partner agencies, our PHP performance experts, and uh, Magento themselves. And those recommendations uh, include a full documentation that explains why such a best practice and how to fix it. Another way to figure out what went wrong with my application is through the performance expectations that I have set through those assertions right here. And uh, most likely I'm too slow. So the one thing I can do is then go and look at the profile data. Um, this view here uh, really shows the full uh, execution path of my code. Uh, and um, it's extremely simple to uh, just look at the color codes uh, and figure out what uh, happened on wall time, IO, CPU, memory, network, uh, HTTP calls, and SQL queries. Uh, so those will really give me um, thorough understanding of my code's behavior and uh, why uh, the performance isn't matching my expectations. I can also find back uh, the recommendations directly on that view as well as the function lists. Uh, and in that function list, then it's gonna be very easy for me to nav navigate between the calls and understand who called who and who is uh, spending uh, time and uh, memory. Now let's assume that I'm gonna fix that cache issue that the recommendation told me about a full page cache. I'm just gonna uh, deploy a fix on a new branch and I'm gonna be able to profile it very easily either via the Chrome extension uh, like here by simply clicking that button or um, what I can do is also use the command line interface uh, and have a Blackfire curl uh, commands that uh, I will run on uh, the, the website's URL um, and that will uh, trigger the profiling so just the same way that with the Chrome extension. Now I can of course go look at the profile that I just generated and look through the call graph on um, what happened. But what's gonna be much more interesting 
is um, to go and compare the uh, new profile with a previous version where I had that issue and that recommendation that was given to me. Um, then I'm going to be able to see the call graph as a difference that really shows how much time I have spent with that very simple uh, change in my uh, configuration. Okay, let's look back for a minute. Um, Blackfire is actually um, really useful in any stage of uh, an application's uh, development. Uh, maybe in development where you'll be able to debug, improve, and validate your code changes. In test and staging, just like I, I've shown with the build report uh, functionality that will uh, enable you to uh, decide before your, your new code goes in production if your performance expectations are met. And then it can be used in production, um, especially in conjunction, for instance, with uh, New Relic, where uh, the idea is that as New Relic is a monitoring application and that Blackfire is a profiling application, you get different levels of information out of the two tools. Uh, one of them um, will uh, help you to monitor all of the traffic to your website and then raise alerts when they figure out that something is going wrong, and that is New Relic. But uh, by doing so, they cannot go as deep into the code's uh, details as Blackfire does, um, because that would then impact the um, end user's experience too much. So Blackfire doesn't uh, monitor the end user's request. Uh, it only uh, profiles uh, the requests that are uh, generated by the developers themselves. Uh, and by combining the two tools, you have both the alert on the fact that something is going wrong, and then you have the full details on the code's behavior so that you can then exactly understand what's going wrong and how to fix it. There it is. Um, well, don't hesitate to uh, get in touch with either Scott or me if you have uh, any question, and I uh, would be happy to help. Thank you.